Time now for News Extra, brought to you by First State Bank in Scotts Bluff and Gary. With our report and program, here's Kevin Mooney. Thank you very much, Dennis. Good morning, everyone. Brian Lohr is here to talk about uh, the haunted house at the Fireworks Unlimited building. And uh, that has been there now for, uh, what did you say, 10 years? 10 years. 10 years? 10 years. 10 years you've been doing it. It's pretty amazing. And it gets better and better every year. Including uh, what? What do you have? Twenty rooms now. Huh? Twenty rooms this year. Twenty rooms. Yep. Fantastic. All right. So they started it up last weekend on a Friday and a Saturday night, and now they're going to go full bore starting this weekend. Uh, your schedule is Friday, Saturday, Sunday this week, right? And Friday, and Saturday, the Sunday the following, following week, and then Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday of Halloween weekend. So you got quite a few weekends to go yet. Yes, sir. All right. So you would expect that the crowds will be even bigger than they were last weekend coming up these next three, given the fact that Halloween's closer and people are starting to get into that kind of mood, right? Definitely like to see larger crowds. All right. So what is the admission to the haunted house? It's $7 a person, uh, but if you bring a can of food and you get a dollar off admission. All right. And a percentage of the profits go to a worthy cause. The Operation Wounded Warrior. Yeah, that's, that's good. So on Friday nights and Saturday nights, you're open 6.30 to 11.30. On Sundays, Wednesdays, and Thursday nights, he's open uh, 6.30 to 9.30. And uh, you've got 20 rooms, and I know you can't say a lot about this, but uh, uh, the first night you were open last weekend, the first people go through and you already had... Yeah, they already uh, knocked a, went through a wall. We had to repair that real quick before the next group came through. <laughs> So they went through a wall. Yep. So is that because they were so scared they like they backed right right they through backed it. Yep. right through it, huh? Yep. <laughs> so you change that particular room a little bit or just no, a little. Just a little. Just a little. Yep. Okay. And one of the other things, uh, you know, once in a while, you know, I have this vertigo thing since my heart issue here about six months ago when I wake up once in a while it happens. So you got a room there where if I went through there I'd the yep. vertigo thing might happen to me. Is it might happen to you, yep. Might happen to me, right? Yep. Kind of makes you feel a little different walking through it. All right. Okay, so uh, uh, it's a pretty good haunted house. It's uh, for adults for the most part. For I the mean, most part, adults, um, it's, we don't recommend under 13, but we do get younger kids come through. So Yeah. All right. Very good. And uh, uh, how long did it take you to build these 20 rooms? We started on this on September 1st on building the haunted house. Yeah. And uh, we opened again on the 9th, so a little over a month to, to build and prep for it. Yeah. And in one of those rooms you were working on right up to or start time. Right huh? up to start time. Couldn't get it to work exactly the way you wanted it to for a while. Yep. Working great now, though. Working great now. Okay. So uh, how many people did you have help you out? Oh, uh, We've got uh, 20 actors this year, um, and they're all really great actors. I appreciate their hard work that they're doing. Yeah. And uh, they do it for just giggles, basically. For the most part, they do it for uh, having fun and scaring people. Yeah, yeah. And a lot of people like to do that. Yep. Yep, they do. All right, we'll take a break. And uh, he's got some sponsors as well helping him out. We'll maybe go through some of that right after this. Jingle all the way to Christmas on Broadway during the City of Scotts Bluff First State Bank Jingle Jog Fun Run and Walk on December 5th. The three-mile race route has been approved by Mrs. Claus herself and will excite the elf and all. At the finish line, fulfill all those Christmas wish lists by shopping locally and enjoying the sights, sounds, and smells of the season. Jingle Jog registrations can be found at City Hall and First State Bank. By donating a new, unwrapped toy at time of registration, you help the Gift of Love program and save $10 off the Jingle Jog fee. Don't miss this holly jolly time. Register today. Back on News Extra today, Brian Lohr is here to talk about uh, the 10th annual Big Haunted House over at the Fireworks Unlimited building at 1013 Avenue I, right next to the Kino building, just to the north of there. Uh, it's pretty easy to find, and uh, he's going to uh, really get going this weekend. He was open last weekend for a couple of nights, but now he'll be open the next two weekends on Friday, Saturday, and uh, Sunday. And then uh, following that, he'll be open Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday of Halloween weekend. Friday nights, 6.30 to 11.30. That's the same on Saturday nights. And then the other nights, 6.30 to 9.30. So uh, um, tell us about some of your sponsors. 
Because you got some people that are helping you out with this, right? Yep. Um, a lot of this couldn't be done without the sponsor's help, and we really appreciate all that. Uh, we've got Northwest Pipe, Oregon Trail Plumbing and Heating, Car Trumbull, Melbita All Around, Infinity Construction, Pipeworks Plumbing, Corf Continental, Roy's Plumbing, Gearing Valley Plumbing and Heating, Rowanko Sprinklers, and Wall Space Indoor Billboards. All right, very good. Um, how many people do you expect to go through this thing in, a, in the next, uh, say, for the whole thing? Oh, our goal is at least put 2,000 people through. Yeah. Um, we'd like to do more than that, but that's our, our goal for, for this year is 2,000. 2,000? And you're probably uh, well on your way. I bet you had well a on the way. turnout mm-hmm. last weekend. Mm-hmm. So uh, it's a lot of fun. And the good thing is, even with the one over in Gearing and the one here, you can kind of make a night of it and go to both of them. Yes, sir. And then both of them kind of help each other out. So it uh, works out pretty good. So uh, 20 rooms. So how long does it take to go through, depending on how scared you are? Depends on how scared you are and how fast you want to move. Yeah. Um, Sometimes the bigger people are the ones that are the scaredy cats. Yes, sir. Is that sir. what you're finding out? Yep. Yep. Huh? That's, the, that's the fun ones to watch is the some of the, the older, the older bigger guys that are holding their girlfriend in front of them and screaming as loud as they are. <laughs> All right, and uh, take any pictures of people when they're when you're there. So, um, not yet. We're gonna do some video later on. Are you? Yep. Okay. All right. So even if you're big time scaredy cat and you kind of show it, at least uh, it'll be your secret, I guess. Huh? Yep. All right. Haunted house over at the Fireworks Unlimited building again this weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday nights. Same for next weekend, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Of Halloween weekend. We appreciate Brian coming in. Sounds like a very spooky time. Yes, sir. All right. Good deal. All right. Thank Have you. fun with it. Thank you.